Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle Physics, Vectors, Analytical Method. So let's start with the basics. So may three problems can you see dito. First one is 12 meters east and 5 meters east. And second one will be 30 meters south and 20 meters north. And third one will be 10 meters west and 30 meters east. So dito tayo muna sa basics muna. Paano natin solve to? So first question natin is 12 meters east and 5 meters east then. Pag pareha sila ng direction, just add it lang. So that will be 12 plus 5. And that will be 17. So that will be 17 meters east. Okay, so pangalawa na tayo. 30 meters south and 20 meters north. Pag south and west, kailangan mo siyang inigate. Yung number. So that will be negative 30 na siya. So pag north and east naman, that will be positive. So just add the numbers, negative 30 plus 20 will be negative 10. So, pag negative 10 ng sagot mo dyan, you have to transform it to south. Next naman, we have 10 meters west and 30 meters east. Remember, yung west na 10 meters, kailangan natin muna inigate uh, will be negative 10. So, 30 meters east, wala kang babagoyin, that's positive pa rin. Negative 10 plus 30 will become 20 meters. Dahil positive ang sagot, that will be 20 meters east. Alright, so next topic tayo x and y axis together. So first example, we have 12 meters east and 5 meters north. So mapapansin mo, yung 12 meters yan, may arrow naman plus mo 5 meters north. So hindi sila parehas ng direction. And we need to find our resultant. So para mahanap natin yan, we can find it by using the Pythagorean theorem. So may right triangle tayo. In 12 meters and 5 meters yung legs ng right triangle. And yung resultant will be the hypotenuse. So ang formula na gagamitin natin, that will be r squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So algebraically, r squared is equal to 12 squared plus 5 squared. 144 plus 25 is 169. Get the square root, that will be 13. So in resultant ng 12 meters east and 5 meters north, you just have to get the hypotenuse. Alright? Hindi pa tayo tapos, we need to find the angle. So paano natin hanapin yung angle? So yung angle may kita mo, Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So that will be 5 over 12. So theta is equal to the arc tangent of 5 over 12. So the answer will be 22.62 degrees. Yung angle mo is 22.62 degrees siya. Alright, so the final answer will be 13 meters, 22.62 degrees north of east. Paano natin manalaman kung north of east or east of north? Mapapansin mo yung angle, mapunta siya ng north. So, yun yung unahin mo ilagay. So, papunta siya saan? Sa north. So, north. Saan siya magigaling? Sa east. So, that will be north of east. Most of the time, we use CCW or counterclockwise sa vectors. Alright, second example tayo. 10 meters west, 6 meters south, 4 meters east, and 15 meters north. So, mapapansin mo sa image at yung mga arrows niya. Picture not drawn to scale and we need to find the resultant. So, para gawin natin yan, mag-construct tayo ng table. Yung x-axis, that will be east-west. And y-axis will be north and south. So, kailangan natin pagbanggayin yung east and west and north and south. So, mapapansin mo, 10 meters west. So, that will be negative 10 meters. At yung 6 meters south will be negative 6. Then, nalagi ko sa kabila sa y-axis. 4 meters east, that will be positive. Lagi ko siya sa may x-axis. And yung 15 meters north, that will be in the y-axis. Positive din. Next, we need to find the sum. Negative 10 plus 1 ng 4, that will be negative 6 sa x-axis. And yung y-axis mo naman, negative 6 plus 1 ng 15, that will be 9, 9 meters. So dahil negative ang sagot mo, negative 6, that will be 6 meters to the west. Positive 9 siya sa y-axis, so 9 meters north siya. Alam na natin yung component ng x and y-axis. We can solve for the resultant by the Pythagorean theorem. So, r square is equal to 9 square plus 6 square. So, algebraically, 81 plus 36, that will be 117. Get the square root of that, and the resultant will be 10.82. Next naman, yung angle. Para makuha natin yung angle, check mo kung saan yung angle mo. Tangent theta will be opposite over adjacent, so 6 over 9. Get the arc tan of that, that will be 33.69 degrees. So, the final answer... Dun sa question na 10 meters west, 6 meters south, 
4 meters east and 15 meters north will be 10.82 meters at 33.69 degrees west of north or 123.69 degrees CCW. Okay, saan ang galing ba yung 123.69? So, nagsimula ako from east hanggang dun sa angle natin. So, 90 plus 33.69. So, both naman are correct eh. You may answer to 33.69 degrees west of north or 123.69 degrees CCW. Alright, next one. Paano naman kung non-perpendicular vectors? For example, 20 meters, 45 degrees plus 25 meters, 300 degrees plus 15 meters, 210 degrees. So, ang technique dito, we need to find the x and y axis components. Para masolve natin yan, a sub x is equal to a cosine theta at pag sa y naman, a y is equal to a sine theta. Yung a kasi yung magnitude and theta is the CCW from each direction of vector a. Pag ganito, iisa-isay natin yung pag-breakdown. So, first one, we have 20 meters and 45 degrees. So, ang formula natin, a sub x is equal to a cosine theta. A mo, ito yung sa measurement. So, that will be 20 meters. So, 20. Cosine the degree. So, 20 times cosine 45 degrees is equal to 14.14. So, ito na yung x-axis natin. 14.14. So, y naman, that will be 20 times mo ng sine 45. Same angle tayo, 45 degrees. Nagkaiba lang, pag y is sine. Pag x-axis, that will be cosine. So, 20 times sine 45, that will be 14.14 then. Kasi 45 degree, di ba? 45 degrees. Let's put it in the table. So, may 14.14 ka sa x-axis at may 14.14 ka na rin sa y-axis. So, dalawa pa. Dalawang set pa. Next naman, 25 meters and 300 degrees. So, same process. Napi muna natin yung sa x. That will be 25 cosine 300 degrees. And the answer will be 12.5 meters. Sa so, y-axis na yan, that will be 25 sine 300 degrees. And the answer is negative 21.65 meters. And lastly, we have 15 meters, 210 degrees. So, same process. 15 times manang cosine 210 degrees para makuha yung x-axis niyan. That will be negative 12.99 meters. And for y naman, that will be a sine theta, 15 sine 210 degrees. That will be negative 7.5 meters. And kailangan mong kunin yung sum ng x-axis components and y-axis components. So the answer will be 13.65 meters sa x-axis. And y-axis naman, that will be negative 15.01 meters. Dahil 13.65 yung sa x-axis at positive siya, so pa-east tayo. Pag sa y-axis naman, negative 15.01, so pa-south tayo. So let's construct yung triangle natin. Let's do the Pythagorean theorem. So ang r natin will be r squared is equal to the square of 15.01 plus muna square of 13.65. And the answer for the resultant will be 20.29. Okay, next, angle ulit. So, tangent theta is equal to 13.65 over 15.01. So, arc tan ng 13.65 over 15.01, the angle will be 42.28 degrees. So, dun sa question na 20 meters, 45 degrees, plus 25 meters, 300 degrees, plus 15 meters, 210 degrees, ang answer dyan will be 20.29 meters at 42.28 degrees east of south or 312.28 degrees. Paano naging east of south? Mapapansin mo yung angle mo papuntang east. At saan ka naman manggagaling? Sa south, di ba? So that will be east of south. Tapos, nag-add ako ng 270. Nakikita nyo sa image yung 270 plus do 42.28. So that will be 312.28 degrees. Kasi counterclockwise, magisimula ka sa east. Alright, so last topic tayo, vectors, word problems. First question, a hiker walks 50 meters east, then 200 meters south. And finally, 400 meters west. Ano daw yung resultant displacement of the hiker from the starting point? Visualize muna natin siya. So naglakad siya 50 meters east, tapos biglang nag-south siya 200 meters. And finally, 400 meters west daw. Ngayon, kailangan natin kunin yung resultant displacement. 
So para makuha natin yan, kailangan mong gumawa ng table ulit sa x-axis components and y-axis component. So sa x-axis, meron kang 50 meters at negative 400 meters kasi 400 meters pa, so ininegate ko siya. For the y-axis naman, you only have negative 200 meters. So next one, you have to get the sum of the x and y-axis components. So 50 plus mo ng negative 400, that will be negative 350. And so y-axis naman, that will be negative 200. So, ang negative 350, that will be 350 meters to the west. X-axis component tayo. So y-axis naman, dahil negative siya, negative 200 meters. So that will be 200 meters to the south. So let's form the right triangle. So ang dalawang side ng right triangle mo ay 200 meters and 350 meters. Find the resultant. Algebraically, r squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. 350 square plus 200 square and the resultant will be approximately 403.12 meters. Next naman yung angle natin. So tangent theta will be 200 over 350. Arc tan of 200 over 350, that will be approximately 29.74 degrees. The final answer natin will be 403 Point twelve meters at twenty nine point seventy four degrees south of west, at or two hundred nine point seventy four degrees. Sa nang galing two hundred nine point seventy four degrees, yung one eighty o plus mo yung twenty nine point seventy four degrees CCW. So either naman yung sagot don, either sa dalawa ang sagot don. So pwede mo sagot four hundred three point twelve meters at twenty nine point seventy four degrees south of west, or 209.74 degrees CCW. Depende pa rin yan sa teacher nyo. And last problem tayo. Glaze and Angelina leave the mall, drives 26 km due north, then turns on the street and continues in the direction of 30 degrees north of east for 35 km. And finally turns into highway due east for 40 km. What is the resultant displacement from the mall? Okay, so natin yung problem. So 26 km north and 35 km north of east, 30 degrees. Plus mo ng 40 km due east. Hanapin natin yung resultant. So first step agad, kailangan natin gumawa ng table para sa x and y axis components. So sa so y axis component mo, yung 26 km due north, yun ang ilalagay ko. At yung pangalawa naman, that will be 40 km. Positive din kasi due east eh. Siyempre, dun sa 30 degrees north of east for 35 kilometers, kailangan natin siyang i-breakdown. So, that will be para sa x component ng 35 kilometers and 30 degrees, that will be 35 cosine 30 and the answer will be 30.31. In yung x-axis component. So, y naman, that will be 35 sine 30, so that will be 17.5. So, take note of the sign, so positive sila parehas. So, kunin natin yung total, that will be 70.31 kilometers at 43.5 kilometers sa y-axis naman. So, that's it. Pare silang positive, so that will be east and north. And the resultant, so algebraically again, 70.31 square mo siya, pa plus mo sa 43.5 square. And you get the square root of the answer, that will be 82.68. So, ang resultant natin is 82.68. So, angle naman, tangent theta is 43.5 kilometers over 70.31. Part 10 of that one, of the answer will be 31.74 degrees. And yung angle natin, north of east. So, the answer will be 82.68 kilometers at 31.74 degrees north of east or 31.74 CCW. So, same answer pa rin kasi 0 degrees eh, plus 31.74. Nanggaling ka sa E's eh. So wala kang i-add. So next video natin will be about kinematics. Ito yung velocity, final and initial velocity, acceleration in time, and distance. So if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.